Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. This is another ladder match between Zlo playing Aeon down here. I don't know if he picked Aeon if he goes random, semi random. But he's Aeon in this game. And over here we have Swakum, UEF player. Uh, and he's back to play again. Former caster years ago and if you want to go see see some faff history you can search Swakal on YouTube and find his channel he was a very good caster but now he just plays <clears throat> he came back uh, last year maybe or maybe the year before and then he left and now he's back again so hopefully he sticks around Plays a bit. Plays a bit more. Uh, Zlo. Of course, always around. <clears throat> he has a very nice rating. Big rating gap between, between these two. For this match. The map is the Land Wilderness. <clears throat> the original map is uh, has a lot more water. Which is why this is called the Land Wilderness basically adds uh, land bridges all over the place so the land is all actually connected not separate I'm not very good at this map unfortunately for some reason I can't seem to win here so let's try and learn from these two because surely one of them gonna win Swackle is going second air Zlow is going second air. Ooh, only three power generators because he has this engineer here. Getting three groups. I uh, still I think that's a bit ambitious though, right? Yep. <laughs> a little bit. He really wants to get this bomber out, but uh Well, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually pretty impressive. He's having to work hard for it though. Look at this. <laughs> a lot of micro happening to uh, to make this bomber happen, so it better do do some nice damage. He also sent out a lab or maybe two labs. I thought maybe there's a second lab, but uh, no, it's the two labs are from Swackle. So he has one here, one here. This one is going to get taken out. The bomber is out. Swackle. Almost has an inti already though. Oh, lab versus Aurora. He ran right into range there. This lab from Zlo has not done anything because the engineer just taking a lot of mass. There's a lot of mass here. And uh, this engineer is very carefully guarded from land attacks. But the bomber deals with them. And only one kill for that very, very carefully manufactured build order with three different engineers for climbing trees and uh, the bomber just gets shot down I would not normally expect people to I mean first of all Zlow would probably feel hard done by there because Swakal went second air quickly and he went straight for an interceptor so he just hard countered blindly it's not usually advisable to go for an interceptor if you go second air, especially on a map like this, where land units uh, don't have a very long travel time. So usually you'll see people go second land. You probably see people go uh, third land as well, delay air a lot. So going second air inti that just hard countered uh, is low. It's Pretty unfortunate for Zlo, honestly. Now, Swackle doing his own bombing. He may get this engineer if it doesn't dodge. Oh, it's dodging. Oh, yes. It dodged so well that the bombs didn't even drop. Nice one. And there goes... Oh, he even got a scout for free there as well as the bomber. It looks like Swackle is not going to have air. Actually, Zlo now has two air factories. 
three land factories in the base. Building his hydro only now, even though he has two air factories. Bit, bit unusual. Five factories in the base, but only one of them is an air factory. When we look at Swackle, and will Slow be able to kill this engineer? He doesn't have a scoot. And he needs to take out this engineer. It would be a very big kill denying three mexes for a long time. Maybe for, yeah, maybe for a very long time, but if he doesn't kill the engine. He may actually, it looks like he will be able to follow up with more Aurora and kill this expansion. Meanwhile, this expansion looks quite secure for his low. He seems to have quite a few more units, despite having slightly less terms of land production which is a bit unusual Aurora are very slightly cheaper than strikers if I remember correctly yep they are 52 versus 56 mass and Swakil 70% of T2 well that's gonna be a reason to uh, to be lower on units maybe he could have gone with one factory less for this uh, this rush Put more assistance on the factory maybe that would have come out a bit better for him because right now it looks uh, like he's really lacking map control is this one of the original <laughs> labs it's come back and you know he took his time bided his time and got the kill on the ng eventually and even killed a mass extractor because the aurora and scout are just shooting into the sands of the beach <laughs> he gets the second one down to half HP as well. Not bad. So, here come the Mongoose. I would like to see more, more engineers on the factory, get the Mongoose out a bit faster. But uh, they're going to do great versus the Aurora. And he really needs to uh, take back this, this expansion here very quickly because Low is moving ahead in terms of mass actually it's reclaim where Low is making the difference now will we see ooh, T2 air from Low? not going T2 land he's 50% of T2 air you can see he's not assisting and that's probably because T2 air is very expensive on power so he's just letting the factory do the work the factory gets the benefit of all this adjacency Oh, and actually Zlo has a T2 Max as well. Now Zlo needs to be careful here because there's a Mongoose coming. Strikers, ACU is here. He needs to head for the water. Quickly. And oh, Swackle smells blood. He's sending a lot more units now. Don't retreat the units. Don't retreat the Strikers. Slow has so many interceptors. That's an outrageous amount of interceptors. I get eight minutes on this map to have that much air. It's pretty crazy. Slow is really low on HP now. He's just oh, Swako with the wall, trying to block him from getting into the water, but it does not work out. Twenty six hundred, twenty five hundred. Swako could potentially have taken a draw there. And considering the rating situation, he would have uh, got some points out of it, but it was a very tiny window. He was only under 2,500 for a moment, and I think Swackle probably wouldn't have gone for it anyway. T2 Engineer comes out, and we need some PDs, I think. Because if the ACU starts walking into this base uh, with Mongoose behind him and some, some artillery, how... Does Low stop that? I mean, his ACU is over here. Uh, he's actually making T2 now on his commander. PD goes up in front of the base. That's not going to last long, surely. One of the benefit of the rocket bots. T T T1 PD is not very scary to them. Mongoose did get a buff in the last patch to make them a bit more accurate, slightly more damaging. 
Uh, it's nice to see them get used. T2PD is up and maybe just in time. It's gonna be hard to chew, to chew through 2000 HP with only two Lobos. And oof, 600 damage with each shot to the ACU. Really makes him want to turn around and leave. Finally, this expansion is killed. Zlow has had this expansion for a long time. And you can see now how much extra mass he's gotten from that. It's a big deal. Somehow, they're, oh, this <laughs> somehow, this Aurora has just traveled across the water to raid the bike. That's so annoying. Fortunately, there is a bomber here in the base. The perfect thing to deal with annoying Aurora like that. Zlow has almost finished his T2 upgrade. And here comes an engineer to expand to this base. This expansion is getting raided. It's going to be a dead factory as well as two dead mexes. But here comes T2 gunships from the T2 air factory. And there's a lot of mexes on the outside of these maps. And there's not much hope of of Swaku getting air control via interceptor production because well he has one factory and it's not being assisted and he can't really f well there's one engineer assisting and he just doesn't have the power to assist it so his inti production is never going to reach what Zlo has without a lot of investment but now I mean Swakel has just killed every mechs almost outside of Zlo's base so all that mass that he is ahead He's ahead in total mass, but right now his mass production is very small. He has this one mechs, which will die very soon. He has this mechs, which might actually survive because it's just so far away. Maybe Swackle won't send anything there too soon. But what Swackle needs to do is take all the mechs that he's just killed. He's actually lost <laughs> this mech on. And even send a mongoose back there. The bomber was the was the way to deal with that, but it's still idle in the base. Now it's time we should have seen for sure we should have seen support factory go up a while ago. You can see the difficulty for Swaggle is that he has not increased his production, so now he's killed a lot of mexes. He's taken a lot of mexes for himself, but he can't spend the mass. Maybe he should. Well, you gotta, for one, I would say, throw down another factory, make some mexes, make some power. The difficulty is there's gonna be. Well, he actually. Oh, look at how nicely he has these uh, flax spread. I mean, he probably shouldn't send this one across to to die, but. Uh, Flax are nicely spread. Oh, there's sneaky engineers in the on the right side. This map is very open in the corners on these sides, and it's very common to have a factory over here. It's a very nice to have because it makes it difficult to to clear people out. So you can see he's it's like slow can be really annoying with this thanks to this factory. If the mexes die, you'll have some engineer hiding around to uh, to retake the mexes. And also, he's taking tree reclaim, because these are all tree groups. <laughs> so there's quite a lot of reclaim here in these corners, which low will start to take. There's also loads of rocks around here, all around these cliffs. Should definitely be taking those. So, what now? The Swackle took so much away from Zlo, but now Zlo is coming back. And he's gonna raid this expansion. He's doing some bomber raiding again, getting a factory out here in in the middle of nowhere. It's also a hydro there. I'm sure Zlo will build that. That was that was the TML. <laughs> Four kills already for the TML. Six hundred damage. What did he kill though? Oh, he killed a factory here. I wonder if that was upgrading to a support factory. Oh. 
Uh, I'm confused. Slow. Oh, he's trying. He has his T2 ACU. He's trying to build a PD, but just got killed immediately. Overcharge goes in on the pillars. Slow's losing HP, but Swackle has no upgrade. He gets a little gift of veterancy from those Aurora. But now he has no units left. And Swackle is going to have to run away. Because that's a lot of Aurora coming. And there's a T2AC ready to build PDs if need be. Look at this. Just Swackle, does he have any idea? Oh, he actually does know. Swackle's big problem is production, honestly. Needs to finish this support factory. He should just invest in mexes, I would say. Or should have a little while ago. And now he's going to do more raiding. But it doesn't matter because Slow can very quickly start retaking stuff. I feel like this factory has been rebuilt. And it's going to die again. Gotta love the mongoose. The speed of them is so nice. Just being able to run around. Quickly do some raiding and run away. Wow, 23 kills, two veterancies on that one. Two veterancies on this one as well. But they will die very quickly to to air. Oh, we have swift winds now as well. The gunships get targeted first, which is a mistake. But it no, surely the Swifties win this actually. Because uh because Gunships are targeted first. Okay, the Swifties have gone idle. <laughs> but yeah, maybe, maybe Swackle would have lost the air fight there anyway. But attacking the gunships, wasting all that damage on the gunships first, and then fighting the Inties uh, after taking free damage. It's definitely not ideal. So, Swackle saves some Inties. But what hope does he have versus versus swift winds? Finally, T two P gen goes up. Only sixteen minutes in before we get a T two P gen. It's kind of crazy when we had T two so early in this game. So Akil, you can see, has added more production. There's a lot of engineers here They're, that are not engaged, not doing anything, and this poor mongoose have been run down by some Aurora and that hurts the fade away <laughs> grenade toss and it looks like the corner is getting cleared out finally that's quite nice low this map control is still lacking and if he gets cleared out of here it's gonna be annoying for him but the mongoose a single mongoose is gonna take a little while to uh, to get the PD. Need some backup. This flak doing a great job. Oh! The Mongoose have arrived just in time to deny this T2 PD being built. I'm not sure. Oh, these pillars looking to support the Mongoose. And the ACU trying to catch them. And maybe it will actually now that they're retreating this way. Oh no, he's building more PD. So Zlo just wants to control the middle with uh, T2PD. Zlo is TMLing T1 Mexus. Which is not very efficient. Oh, more annoying Aurora raiding the back now. Swackle has a second T2 Max. He's making his P gen now. It's low saying his his TML missed three times. <laughs> How does that happen? Oh, he's killing anti-air as well. There's still engineers hiding here, and he even has the hydrocarbon. And again, on the outside, using the engineers to get reclaim. So Zlo has slightly more mass income. 
Oh, he has three T2 Maxes as well. Only two for Swaggle, a big lack of mass. TML still taking out T1 Maxes. 18 mass is how much a T1 Max costs. The missile from the TML costs 250 mass, so. <laughs> Maybe not uh, exactly efficient. Gunships. As low is. Quickly building T1 PD. And this is a waste of units, I think. Some units going down. The T2PD just controlling the middle. Swaggle doing some nice micro here. He's getting huge value out of these mongoose over on this right side. And holding on. He only has four mongoose against a lot of Aurora. And he's just destroying them. And again, trying to take this expansion, trying to gain the upper hand in map control. But every time it seems like Zlo can can do some damage, can clean it up, and then still hold on to the outside. Again, this is getting raided. <laughs> every time, Zlo continually rebuilds his factory in the same place. And uh, then it dies again. And there it goes. Swackle really lacking any intel on the sides here. He's also really lacking power, but he's about to finish. It's P-Gen. Just quite nice. He's using this Inti for vision for his uh, Mongoose, but they're getting wasted. It's a decent army, but... It is a waste. And now... Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> R.I.P. Swift wins. It's Flak doing amazing damage. And then, when they landed, then the grenades did a pretty good job, too. So, air not looking so bad anymore. God damn, these, these mongoose. Four veterancy. Holy shit. There's two mongoose here with four veterancy. 1800 mass killed. And 1700 mass killed. It's incredible. And yet. This <laughs> I love. He just, he just moves down and kills this for the third or fourth time at least. And then just gets raided from the side of the map because he's he just so difficult to clear all of this crap out. You can see here, two engineers survived. Now there's a PD, the mechs are getting built, there's radar, and there's a factory. And there's even an Aurora coming to raid. It hurts. Now we have some MMLs. Or, well, we have one MML. Flapjack is here. And... He's targeting the wrong thing. Killing a factory, but uh, there's a PD going up. Is that PD? Let's see the range. Well, it's in range of the mongoose. ACU steps into a T2 army just to get some overcharges in. I guess he's feeling pretty confident that he's not going to die here. And I think he's right. You can dodge uh, Mongoose Fire pretty well, you can see here. Slow, slow is sort of eating most of it though. <laughs> but he has plenty of HP. He's not too scared. I gotta say the T2 Air has not been impressive at all. There hasn't been much damage. I mean, I, but maybe it's just because... He's, he doesn't need the T2 air. <laughs> he does the raiding that the T2 air might have done with this edge edge of the map factory bullshit. Where just, just units appear from the fog and then run away again. 
now he's a lot of gunships though but there's there's flak in in important places you have six flak we have one on either side of the map you could definitely check out these these flaks on the side without too much problems too many problems Indeed, getting some free damage. Swackel is making the gun. Look at this, he's losing the sides again. He's found another factory, a secret factory. He's gonna take that out. In the meantime, though, he's under some real power problems. Should pause uh, the shield or maybe he should never have built the shield actually to be honest because there's no fighter bombers so you know do you really need a shield gotta ask yourself is it worth it uh, it probably isn't at this point especially as he's trying to finish the gun upgrade now here we have the gun no actually he's finishing nano he already had the gun so nano gun it's time to attack push the middle get the flapjacks in attacking the shields come out of the water he should I think I feel like well Swaka's moving in inland I think he should maybe maybe he should move come out of the water right here stay in the water as long as possible because you can sort of get into range then a bit more safely like if we look at the range you see how it shortens the range if he comes out of the water here he spends less time under attack from the uh, T2PD. Actually, now he's already taking fire, so that's yeah, that's problematic. Now there's two PDs. Oh, as low as making T2 artillery now. Holy crap! And with all these gunships just on standby, it's gonna be tricky again. <laughs> There's these nasty Aurora just Just a single Aurora it's gonna kill a couple of mexos killed one anyway We'll see if it kills another are these the same he still has these alive He's fucking hero mongoose What a squad Absurd value 38 kills each his ACU has 15 kills. These two mongoose have <laughs> nearly 80 kills between them. <laughs> There's already two two artillery up here. What the fuck is that? Well, this gun and nano has not uh, not done much. Here's another idea. Swaka comes all the way through the water. Well, he comes through the water, comes out here, kills his PD, goes back in the water, comes down here. And uh, starts killing the base. He, could he walk towards uh, this T2P gen and kill it? Maybe. The gunships are a big problem though for this this plan. Although he has so many inties though, there's not that much, not that many Swifties. Whoa! I just I just noticed. Check out that reclaim. Twenty-seven thousand reclaim for slow. 6,000 for Swackle. Now that is all the difference in the game. Right there. No! No! Oh. R.I.P. Will this one escape? No! Oh. I'm control king right then and there. Once that happens. My heroes. Rest in peace. Well. Three T2 artillery now. Swackle is moving to T3 land. He's also trying to get some shields up. He doesn't have T2 so he's relying on his, uh, on his engineers to to build these defenses the ACU it's, it's sad to see this uh, gun nanocomp has not not done anything really has to be said it's it's 
stood on this side of the map. We've gotta seize the moment, and this shield is dropping fast. T2 artillery. It seems like a long shot going for T2 RT now. There's already three miasmas up. And his low is now building static flag. He feels confident. That's a confidence building right there. It's like, yeah, I'm under I'm just gonna be under a shield. I'm gonna build static defenses so that I don't get sniped because I'm in the lead. That's that's what that tells you. This mass difference is mostly reclaim. How did Slow manage to steal so much reclaim? And how did Swakla manage to get none of it? Difficult question to answer. Maybe it's it's the outside bases again. Wow, Slow has actually taken every single tree on this side and he's working hard on these ones too. Swaggle has, you can see, he has his entire army stationed on either side of the map and he has none of the mexes. Zlo, meanwhile, invests very little, takes out these mexes, gets reclaimed, takes the outside mexes. Certainly have an investment here, that's for sure. But again, uh, this investment is not probably as big as all of the units that have been sent, to, say, to this side. Look at all these! Flapjacks here, the flapjacks should be in the middle for sure. But uh Zlo just maintaining as much as he can with as little as he as he can possibly use. But now we have demolishers. And they should be able to drop these shields without too much trouble. Two demolishers already. Oh no, the not the bombers. Thankfully AM bombers have terrible damage. Oh the miasmas were coming, but the mobile shield generator got there just in time. Oh, Swakel's artillery is outside of his shield. Get under the shields. Oh, he so nearly lost the demolishers there. Jesus. He's getting lucky, man. That these are still alive. Let's look at the base over here. The static shield has gone down at the front, but the mobile shield's being drafted. Oh, there goes the static shield gen. It's just died. And all the mobile shields are down. The shots are landing. Ouch. A lot of mobile shield gens just died there. They will not be recharging, but the demolishers on the other side are dying as well. There were three. Now there are there is one. But here come the T1 artillery moving in. Just send them in. Just just send them in. T1 artillery only. Don't send the rest of them. <laughs> Obsidians are here to defend against T1 artillery. Well, whatever you got, I guess. If that's what you have, that's what you have to use. <laughs> Not the best unit against uh, T1 artillery, but it'll have to do. Oh, look at this annoying T1 stuff everywhere. There's a gunship at the back. Killing the units that are defending against the single Aurora that's raining. Swakel takes these mexes back, but that's not gonna last. T1 units just. just everywhere. For Zlow. And these four artillery now, still standing. The wall of T1 PDs are dying. That's something at least. There's Percy's now. Slow is leaving with his commander. He doesn't even want to be close to this attack. He doesn't want it. Doesn't want the off chance of a uh, Percy's focus firing his ACU down. And his base is gradually dying, but there's still three shields up. He he needs to take out these artillery. The Percy. Oh, the Percy's about to die now. My asthma's can't really shoot shoot anything that's close to him now but he still has these two PDs at the back defending this base and the artillery are not dying they're not dying uh, and this whole army has gone down and there's still these four artillery and the shield generator that's defending all of them 
And that's really the most important stuff. Still alive. And now Zlo has just managed to gradually kill absolutely everything that isn't inside Swackle's base. Even did a good job trying to attack stuff that is in his base. And now the Subsidian's moving in. And forcing Swackle to maybe bomb himself with this Janus. Oh no. He's attacking these ones. These Obsidians over here. Just tickling. Poor Swackle got ground down. Oh no. Two support factories now get killed. Might help balance his economy, actually. Yep, he could not afford those anyway. Now he can reclaim them. This is doing him a favor there. Janus. Uh, they're gonna take a little while to uh, kill these obsidians. What Swackle calls it. He. Yeah, uh, there's no coming back from this. He's lost everything that's outside of his base. Just look at what Zlo can see right here. The answer is everything. Just total map control. And really no danger. The only thing he doesn't have is T3 land, but he doesn't even need it. He did not need it at all. T1 land did most of the job for him. T1 land and the T2 ACU, I think, did... <laughs> most of everything that he, even though he had T2 air from so early on was not a big factor in this game honestly and T2 land also not a big factor for his low just <laughs> the ACU and T1 stuff did uh, did everything he needed uh, so well played Swackle well played Zlo that was a fun one and a strange one but uh, Zlow, hoovering up that reclaim. Yeah, look at that, 38,000 to 8.4. That is not a good ratio. So, nice to see Swackle playing again. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next cast. Bye, guys.